Mobile connectivity is already enabling us to lead less carbon intensive lives. A good example is the smart meters in our homes, which means that we turn off the appliances more or turn down the heating and produce less carbon as a result. And smart meters use second generation and third generation mobile technology, or 2G and 3G as we know it. And it's that connectivity uh, that allows smart meters to transmit information. Mobile connectivity also helps us to do things like work from home. Even before the pandemic came along, we were working from home more and more, and good mobile connections meant that we could be in touch with colleagues, with customers, with clients on a more regular and reliable basis, and reducing the carbon emitting consequences of our daily commutes. Policymakers really need to act to ensure that 5G is deployed as quickly as possible for the simple reason that the quicker that 5G is deployed, the quicker the benefits of it can be realised. Now these benefits are economic, there's going to be more economic activity as a result of 5G, but also environmental in that 5G will enable the technology that in turn will enable a reduction in carbon emissions. Now there are things that can be done to speed up 5G being rolled out. Things like having a better planning regime that means that mobile equipment can be installed more quickly. Like the business rate system that can be made more sympathetic and cost effective to install mobile equipment that supports 5G. And there also needs to be digital champions within councils that can promote the benefits of 5G uh, and send the message of what benefits it will bring to the economy and society. 5G connectivity is crucial to net zero because of the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is a term we use to describe lots and lots of digital devices all communicating with each other instantaneously uh, using data and digital connectivity. The Internet of Things can be used in things like factories to make production processes more efficient. It can be used uh, by autonomous vehicles in the future to make our car journeys more efficient. It can be used in environmental monitoring to take readings of pollution levels and emissions levels in our towns and cities. The connectivity needed for the Internet of Things can be any type of connectivity, but 5G is important because it's the most powerful it's got the most capacity, it's got the greatest speed, it's got the greatest reliability. So in order for the Internet of Things to reduce carbon emissions uh, and reach its potential in reducing carbon emissions, it needs 5G to do so.